Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be um, transforming this photo frame that I've got here. Now this is an old photo frame that I've got. It's 10 by 15 cm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a positive coat photo frame. Um, now I'm not sure if that makes sense to you but um, so generally what I would do is you can pick any positive coat that you like. So I've got one that I'm going to use um, and I'm going to transform this whole thing. So I'm going to spray paint it, okay, and then I'm going to have a printout of the positive coat um, to put into this frame, all right? Um, so again, you can choose any size or any color that you want to do or any coat that is close to your heart, um, you know. For me, generally, I like positive quotes. Um, that's the first thing that I like reading in the morning. I, in fact, have a calendar that has got um, a daily positive quote written on it. And I think just generally as humans, we tend to gravitate towards um, things that are more positive in life. Um, at least it's true for me. Um, you tend to find more positivity in things that you do. So I thought... Since we're going to go into the new year, um, I would want to make one and put it in my side table where I can look at it every day. So I hope that makes sense. So um, let's get started with the project. So as usual, um, you need a photo frame. And the other thing that I've got with me is um, a can of... Sp what is this? Um, it's a metallic gold spray paint. Okay. So I've got one of that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray paint this photo frame. All right. Hey guys, so um, while we're waiting for the photo frame to dry, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to use the glass frame, okay, that I removed from the photo frame earlier. And I'm going to trace this onto this. Um, black cardboard again you can use any color that you want um, but I chose to use a black backdrop okay so trace that and cut a similar size so I've got one here okay so that's how it looks like um, and that's going to go as the base all right so that's how it's going to look like now the other thing is that um, so this is the code that I've got, uh, that I've printed out. Don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Now again, you can choose any code that you want. So what I'm going to do now is that um, I'm going to cut each one of this word, okay, um, separately, okay. Now once I've done that, I'm going to use a glitter paper, okay. So um, pick a glitter paper, I'm going to use this as the base and I'm going to paste each of this word onto this glitter paper. That probably will make more sense um, once I've done and I'm showing it to you um, rather than me talking. Okay, so see you soon.
Okay, um, so this is how it will look like once we are done with all the word. So I'll show you a closer view. Now if you see, okay, you have um, the printout word there and the backdrop is this glitter paper. Well, I just thought glitter would go well because, you know, don't dull your sparkle. Okay, so sparkle, glitter. <laughs> Alright, um, so we've got all of those done. Now what we're going to do next is that we're going to take the black cardboard that you cut earlier. So the one I've got here. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange this word okay, onto this black cardboard. Okay, so just like that I'm going to arrange it and I'm going to paste it onto this piece of cardboard. Alright? So I'll do that and I'll show you how it looks like. So guys, this is how it will look like once you have pasted them onto the black cardboard. Now if you notice, um, I've changed the, the glitter um, cardboard for the word sparkle. I've put a gold one. Um, so hopefully this goes well with the metallic gold photo frame as well. So what I'll do, I'll assemble them and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so guys, this is the finished look. So you can see the gold metallic border with the black background and all the words that are there. So that's how it looks like. Um, and I'm happy with how it turned out. I think it looks pretty. I'm going to keep it on my table by my bedside. Now, um, you can even do this as a gift idea you know you can give it for Christmas you can do it for birthdays so anything really and um, it's so versatile you can use any photo frame size any colors that you want um, and any quotes that is close to your heart so give it a go and let me know how it turned out so um, have a wonderful Christmas and take care